Okay, um, um, this video is just uh, going to show you how to view your grades. Uh, as a side note, uh, if some of my other videos sound a little like I'm tired, like this one, uh, it's because I am. Uh, I'm up late and I'm making videos, which is what I do. It's great. Uh, so, yeah, enjoy my tired voice. Right, so you've signed into your class page. Um, you may be taken to this view here. See this little white box? Uh, that's your latest posts. That's going to give you a summary of your classes that you belong to. Also, it may give you some other uh, information like your assignments and that kind of thing. So, latest posts uh, show everything together. Uh, if you want to see just one class on its own, then click on the class. Now, to view your grades, uh, you need to go to the top of your page under grades. Uh, pretty straightforward. Click on the class. But this is where some people get a little confused. I'll show you this one as an example. Uh, this is an old class. Um, now this isn't anyone's uh, grade book in particular. It's just a dummy one that I made up as an example. But what we should see uh, a variation of colors. Um, hopefully more green than red or yellow in your grade book. And each bar at the top of your grade book represents an individual worksheet or activity or assignment that you've done during class time. Likewise, uh, down this vertical list here, you see uh, a list of all of your worksheets. Uh, as you scroll down the page, you go further back in time. Whoa. All the way down here would be the very first worksheet in this particular class, which was a Cold War timeline. It is a hyperlink, which means that you can go and see what that worksheet was. For instance, if you were away sick, Joy, you can go back and now check what your work was for that day and complete it. Oh, amazing. Uh, and you can go, hi sir, uh, just typing a message to you. Uh, because I like your subject and now I'm going to attach my work here file attach and you can attach your work there that's one way of seeing old stuff that you may have missed by going to grades and then clicking on your class okay these are the original instructions from me so if you can't find the original turn in button for a particular class this one's Cold War Timeline then go to your grade book find the task that you've been asked to fix up, click on it, and attach your work. Type me a message, say how good my subject is or something, and I might give you some bonus marks. Right, so that's how you can find old worksheets as well. So here, right, you see your mark, uh, what you got out of the total. This one is an odd total, it's 31. Uh, that was assessment number one, right, uh, in-class source test. Uh, these ones with a question mark, they're quizzes that you do in class. So if your teacher's left you a quiz, then your mark will be given to you, most likely automatically, if it's multiple choice. Um, and you won't be able to view the quiz again, but you can see your description of the quiz, uh, the time limit you had, how many questions were in it, um, and your mark is next to it. Okay. If you want to see a visual breakdown of your quiz, I can show you that in a minute. But... Back to the graph, red basically is bad, okay, we know this, red's bad, yellow uh, is in the middle, okay, uh, clicking on any of these columns here will also give you your mark. In addition to that, you can click on the hyperlink there for your mark too, to take you to the original worksheet and instructions, okay, easy peasy, and dark green, a dark green column is full marks, right, which is great, full marks, well done, pat yourself on the back. If you have a blank here, it means that you've not done a particular task um, for which you'll most likely be given a zero by your teacher. Okay, this one is profile of a torturer. Okay, this guy was a pretty evil dude. He worked for Pol Pot and tortured people. Uh, Pol Pot, if you don't know him, uh, Google it. Use the Google thing. Um, basically, an evil man who tortured people in Cambodia. Okay, now that's your grade book in a summary. I think I mentioned just before, I'd show you something about your quiz. Okay, so as a side thing, bonus time, I get to show you a visual breakdown of your quiz. If you want to see a breakdown of your quiz, you need to click on the quiz. I think you do this, and no, you can't. 
do that. Oh, your quiz, because I didn't take the quiz, this is a dummy account. You'll see a visual breakdown of your questions that you answered just beneath here. So it'll say question one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, whatever, and it will show you what questions you got right and which ones you got wrong. That's why it's not displaying on this page. You will see your visual breakdown if you've done the quiz. Okay. No, no, I don't want that. Uh, going back, that's it. The end. Uh, have a nice day or lunchtime or or night if it's night time uh, or morning. You could be watching this in the morning. Who knows? Uh, but have a nice whatever time of day it is. All right. Goodbye.